Welcome back to Docs Off Topic. So today, as you can see, I'm gearing up to do, well, some gear cutting. Um, what I've got here is the 100 tooth blank for a transposing set for the south bend um, because I need 70 millimeters worth of M8 um, to trapezoidal. And the only real way to get that accurately cut is to actually single point it. So hence I need metric gear cutting in an imperial lathe. So join me as I cut these gears. Um, the 127 tooth gear will be done via direct indexing off a existing metric, so module one point, no, I think it's a module two um, gear, but um, doesn't fit anything, so. But will work for indexing out to a larger size. So that's what we're gonna to do today. So let's get going and let's have some fun. As you can see, for that on center height, it's the calculated height. It's actually right for the calculated height, which is quite surprising. I was expecting that to be a little bit out, um, which is really quite surprising. So anyway, let's get this one out of the way. I've already got my depth of cut set. I'm going to do these in one pass. No, so I'm going to do these in one pass. Um, I will be running the gear counterclockwise, um, simply because it happens to face that way. Um, when you put it in as per manufacturer's directions, which is a bit surprising, but whatever. Uh, let me get the dividing plate set up. Okay, to make sure that we've taken up any backlash, move that around so we're ready. Lock that. Right. Let's take our first cut. This doesn't work out. We still have plenty of steel sheet that we can cut another blank out of. Um, but ideally, I'd like this to work first go. What 
Ja, det er jo ikke Oh boy. Now that didn't loosen. <laughs> that did. I was wondering where that vibration crept in from. Okay, now we're going to take all of this apart. Because we're direct indexing this part. How little or how many other things have to be in a screw for it to start to not be all that magnetic? Just wondering. size. All right. Now that should be with the lock undone. Good. Free wheels. 
we'll be turning it um, counterclockwise because that allows, find it, now I'm hoping I can wedge it, a couple of little wooden wedges. So I can do this. Good. It doesn't make contact with the 125 tooth, just with this. So, now we've got to set our depth of cut. Now, unfortunately, I don't get to take advantage of the worm's minimising of errors for this. Um, oh, I should... See if I can move this a bit further so I can actually tighten that nut properly. What I can do is this. I can go back to that spot. Okay. Okay. Important bit is to remember that back movement to lock it in place. No. Guess that's as tight as it's gonna get.
It's a tricky bit in dividing for a prime number is that there, unless you've got the whole wheel that has the exact number of holes that you want, you can't do it. This machine, or this dividing head, is too small to carry a 127 tooth hole plate. However, you can, with this one, do direct indexing, which essentially is running a gear as your template to drive the spindle, which is what I did in this case. So what I have here is a 127, 125 tooth. I'm not sure what these came from, but 127 teeth its what you need. To do that, what I did was I made combination drawbar arbor which links into the plate carrier 12mm thread to 5 8 because I can cut that thread in the, the south bend without needing this because I didn't have it 12mm um, because it was about the only size that I could do. That was close. So for the external thread, because this is hardened um, 1045, I cut it at um, 14 TPI, which is really close to 1.75. It's only a tiny bit out towards the very end. So the thread gets a bit manky, but at the start it's perfect. And I've got, what, six, six full turns that are near perfect. So that's about as strong as that's going to get anyway. Um, these are turned and honed to exactly that. There's like 0 0.01 millimeter clearance. They barely slide on. Um, so with those and that, and this one here wedged in so it doesn't move, which provided me with just a little bit of spring and acted like a latch. Gave me a positive stop, allowing me to index the 127. 100 tooth, could do that off the plates, and that was all well and good. Job done. Um, now we wait for the replacement banjo because for some of the threads, there isn't clearance. Um, between this gear and the lead sc screw spindle. So you need um, an idler gear in there just to make things fit. Um, but that should be in the mail on Monday. Um, so next weekend we should be able to make a bit more progress on the other projects. Um, and we'll see how we're going. Anyway. I hope you've enjoyed. Um, this one was quite challenging and um, pushed my skill set and my equipment a little bit. Um, so, like I said, I hope you've enjoyed. Um, if you have, hit the thumbs up. Feel free to share on social media. And if you haven't already subscribed, I'd love it if you hit that subscribe button. When you do, don't forget, ring the notification bell. So get out to your shop. Push your envelope. Do something challenging. But above all, stay safe, and I will catch you for the next one.